What's up guys, this is iPhones and iPods and um, right now I'm going to show you something pretty cool and it will work for you iPhone 3G, your iPhone first generation and both iPod touches that are all jailbroken obviously and um, what I'm going to be showing you is how to change the uh, text on your clock on the lock screen to some pretty cool fonts and as you see I have one like this and um, it's pretty simple you will have to add a new source but that's not that hard and if you don't know how I'll show you and um, let's just get started all we're gonna have to do is open up Cydia and let that load and while it's loading guys I want to tell you about a really awesome youtuber by the name of your iPod stop and um, I'll have his links in the description he has a website too he does some great um, case reviews and unboxing, so I would check him out if I were you. So just let it load, it's still loading at the top. And mine does that. Does yours do that? Reloading data. Alright, well, just keep on letting that load. Okay, so once it's done, we're going to first off add a new source. And this source is going to allow you to get some more fonts for your uh, lock screen. And I already have it added, so I'm just going to show you what it is. Let me scroll down to it. And it's called applenews.fr. And what you're going to type in is, you're first going to go to edit, add, and I already have this in, so. And I'll have it in the link in the description. But what you're going to type in is, HTTP, all that stuff, it'll have it on there already for you. Apple slash, like little slash cine news dot fr slash repo. And once that's installed, it's going to allow you to um, get some more fonts for this package. But in order to get the package, what we have to do is we have to go into search and type in font swap. All one word. And um, I already have it downloaded. It's right here, as you can see, font swap. And um, so I'm just going to reinstall it for uh, this purpose. And um, it's going to install actually two packages. So I just let it do its thing. All right, now once that's done loading, we uh, we don't have to go back into City. I already have it downloaded. Just sort of just press your home button. Cool background, huh? And um, you should have a new icon. It should look like this AA. Depending on if you have a theme, it might look different. So just click that up. It's called Font Swap. And we're going to go into Lock Clock Fonts. And um, I already have a good handful of these. And um, I'm just going to click on one. I'll show you how to download it. I'll click on Neotech. And you're just going to click install and respring because um, if you don't respring, it's not going to activate it. So definitely click that. Oh, yeah, and stay tuned at the end of the video. I'm going to show you how to get some more of these fonts like I do with that source that we downloaded in the beginning. And once it's done, you should have the new font right up at the top. And uh, it's pretty easy. That's how you change the font. And um, this application font swap, it actually changes. It can change your whole system font too. But I think it's just really cool how it changes the clock font right there. I saw this on the iSpazzy website. And I decided to show you guys because I think this is really cool. But um, here, let me real quick show you guys how to download some new fonts. So um, once you've already gotten that uh, source added, just open up Cydia again. And um, we're going to go into sections. And there should be a new section called font swap. So click on that. And there's a, there's a good couple of, good amount of packages that you can download. And they'll just have a good amount of fonts in them. And uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, that's how you change the, uh, the clock font on your lock screen to your liking. And uh, this is pretty cool, guys. So check that out.